Angela Wolf, and here I am again. I'm going to hem my jeans, and as you know, I use a hammer because it compacts that denim fabric so you can sew through all those layers without skip stitches. Well, what happens if you don't want any distressing? Because the hammer leaves distressing. You can hammer it from the inside, which helps, but it still makes somewhat of distressing. So what if you have a pair of gorgeous black denim or really dark denim that you don't want anything, no distressing? You don't want to hammer it. You could use a mallet. It doesn't work as good, though. So uh, here, by the way, from Brother, the Dreamweaver XC, I tested this many times. In fact, I tested it amongst a lot of people, and not one person had a skip stitch. What is it? The Move It Foot. It's kind of like the walking foot, but I'm afraid it's better than that. So let's see what's involved with this cool foot. Here's the foot, and it clicks on real easily. You can see the belt underneath. Here's the kicker. It plugs into the sewing machine. So it actually has a brain of its own, which is very different than the walking foot. You can adjust in the machine how fast you want this belt to go. See this little belt down here? That is what enables this to work. And I'll show you that in a few minutes. And then one more cool feature right here, enables and disables the foot. So if you're sewing and then you don't need it for a minute, you just turn it off, lift it up. I mean, I don't know about you, but for years, the sewing machine, every sewing machine I got, all I did was went forward, backwards. It came with all those beautiful feet. I never used them because I hated switching them. <laughs> this one, I would have dreaded because I would have had to actually take the little thing off at the bottom. So I'm going to actually show you how easy this is, and it takes two seconds sew away it's going to sew I'm going to use a pair of my jeans from my new jeans pattern and we're going to sew around this and I'm going to show you not even one skip stitch no hammering nothing it's great so let's go see how this works so let's see what this foot has to offer first like I mentioned you need to take off the bottom part it's like the little part underneath your foot it's very easy to do most machines come with a little screwdriver or a little one like you see here and all you have to do is unscrew that and then put the other one on. Super simple. This used to freak me out. It is really so easy. You can just screw it in by hand and then use the little screwdriver to tighten it to make sure it doesn't fall off. So it's like you're taking, you're changing the lower shank on your presser foot. And then you have to plug it in. That's it. I told you it had, the, this little foot has a mind of its own, so it has to be plugged into the machine. And then here's the adjuster. Remember, we go up and down. Up means it's disengaged. Down means it's engaged. So, which is kind of cool. If you're sewing and you don't need it for a minute, you can just lift it up and you don't have to change the whole foot. And then you can pick a stitch. The machine will not let you use a stitch that won't work. So if the stitch is grayed out, that means it doesn't work with this foot. So you really can't screw up. So I put in the machine some Coates and Clark jean thread. And the jeans are already pressed up, which we did in the last blog with the clapper. So we don't even need pins. And I'm just going to stitch along. I think I have it set to like a 3.5. Or 4.0. So here's the trick. Get over the big hump. It doesn't even flinch. It goes right over that. Look at all the stitchers are even. Now to the right, that's where I back stitched a little bit. I just wanted to see how that worked. But not even a skip stitch. The blue stitches to the left is the underside of the. I used two different colors. So you could see. See how easy that was? I told you. It sewed right over those humps without even without even a glitch. And when I tested this the first time, I used a really thick denim. So you have to imagine that hem is folded once, not once, but twice. And then you go over the inseam, which adds even more fabric. It was really cool. Couple notes, I noticed that you, you, you should not sew real fast with it. It's better if you do like a medium to slow speed. And don't go into reverse more than like just a couple stitches. It's really meant to just go forward. And you'll notice on the sewing machine that it won't, I mean, it'll tell you if you can do a stitch. If there's a certain stitch you want to do and it says no, then it won't let you. So you really can't I tried this on a ton of pair of jeans now. My new patterns, I'm very excited. The jean patterns are finally available. The Angel Boot Cut is now ready. It's shipping. And the Slender Bell Jean, which is also one of my favorite. I think the young kids are really going to like it. I have a lot of moms that are making this for their kids. Sewing jeans are really a lot easier than you think if they're for you or for your kids. Of course, we're very picky. I sew all my own jeans and I am a total home sewing snob. I want them to look professional. So follow my other blogs if you need help and hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining me.